Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael. Welcome to another edition of Ask Evan. Today we're going to answer a question from Gerald, who's one of my newsletter readers, who's asking about raising capital and protecting your idea. So Gerald wrote in saying, I'm trying to bring a travel product to market that has the potential to revolutionize the advertising industry. Uh, I'm already in possession of a design patent. My issue is capital. Is a non-disclosure agreement form the best way to protect my product uh, uh, as I discuss my idea with potential investors? So thanks for the question, Gerald. From uh, my background in the venture capital industry, hopefully there's a few ideas I can share with you. To start off, most VCs will not sign a non-disclosure agreement, simply because they're, they're seeing so many opportunities on a daily basis, and so many products and ideas are so similar to each other that they would never sign uh, a non-disclosure agreement. So that's, that's kind of step one. Uh, you can have one ready and you can ask them to sign it, but for the most part, they're gonna say no. Uh, really what they're looking for is to see if you have the plan in place to really execute. So a lot of people have great ideas, but they don't necessarily have the, the, the plan and the team in place to be able to follow through and turn that idea into a real business. From the venture capitalist point of view, they're being pitched all the time with all sorts of ideas and a lot of them are very similar and 99% you know, of them get rejected and the ones that make it through are the ones that uh, A, have some momentum behind them so it's not just an idea but you are able to show that you have either customers or media is talking about you. Uh, you've, you've built some kind of momentum up to separate yourself from everybody else who's pitching the same idea uh, and also they look at your team. So you know, have, has anybody done this before? Is it just you or do you have people around you who've, who've been successful as entrepreneurs who have built something uh, similar and have, some, have had some success doing it? Uh, if you don't have anybody on your team, you can go look for somebody on your team uh, or you can also build a board of advisors and that's a loose affiliation with your company. It's not as strict as having a board of directors, but they're people who are giving you advice on how to grow your business and if they'll lend their name to your company, it could help establish some credibility with you when you go talk to investors. So, uh, you know, angels might sign it, but if you're looking at the venture capitalist point of view, they're not going to look at signing a non-disclosure agreement. Your best bet really is time to market. So it's really only a matter of time before somebody else goes and runs with your idea. So you want to get it out there and start talking to investors and, and try to get the money you need to launch your business. Uh, that doesn't mean you go and post it all over every internet forum and, uh, you know, broadcast exactly what you're doing but you have to be a little bit more open when you're talking to investors because uh, they've seen so many of these ideas and that they're likely not going to want to uh, talk to you if it means they have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. So hopefully that helps, Gerald. Uh, for those of you watching, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up below. It makes me want to do more of these videos for you guys. And if you have a question about uh, what, you know, Gerald's question or something similar, or you have another question about your business, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I always read those and try to respond to as many as I can. Uh, so thank you, and we'll see you on the next episode.